Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer here again. We're talking about autoimmunity today. Autoimmune disease means your immune system is mistakenly attacking your own tissue. And it's more prevalent now in our, in our society than ever, ever before because our immune system's job is to get out of the body what doesn't belong in the body. And there are so many more things in our environment today that don't belong in our body than there were 20, 30, 40 years ago. Even our food has been genetically modified. And now a lot of us are eating different foods, GMOs, you've, you've heard of this, and now our immune systems are reacting to it. Now, 80% of our immune system resides in our gut, which makes sense because the way things get into our body mainly is through what we eat, but it also through the skin and through our, our uh, sinuses, through our nose and breathing and things like that. Today, I'm gonna to talk about barrier systems. Now, before anything can ever get into our body, it has to cross through a barrier system, okay? For example, our skin is a barrier system. If I were to cut my skin, that would increase my chance for infection because I have a hole in my barrier system. Now, the largest barrier system between the outside world and the inside of our body is not our skin. It's the cells that line our small intestine. These, this one cell layer, if we pulled it out of our small intestine and ironed it out, it would cover two tennis courts because there's multiple folds and things like that that we call microvilli that are there to increase the surface area so we can absorb our nutrients in the small intestine. Now what happens, and some people say in every autoimmune disease, one of the things that triggers our immune system is that these tight junctions between these cell layers, the cell layer and our small intestine become destroyed. And that is called leaky gut syndrome or increased intestinal permeability. Your doctor doesn't check for this. We do. When someone comes to us that's chronically sick, almost all of them are autoimmune. You may be watching this and you have all the symptoms of autoimmunity, like fatigue and weight gain and insomnia and joint pain and all of that, and you don't even know that you're autoimmune. This is one of the biggest causes or, or precursors to autoimmunity. So when this barrier system gets destroyed, when it becomes more like this one over here, now you have this, uh, this situation where larger than normal molecules are starting to make their way into the bloodstream where they don't belong. It's like having a hole in your screen door on a hot summer day. Bugs are gonna get into your home that don't belong in your home. Same thing with the barrier system in our gut. When it gets destroyed, things like food sensitivities and infections and poor gut flora can cause this. Then you've got holes in this, in this barrier system, just like cuts in your skin, and that will activate your immune system and will trigger autoimmune disease. Some literature, some scientific literature says you cannot have an autoimmune disease without, destroying, without having leaky gut syndrome. Now, once the gut barrier gets destroyed, what's going to happen next is the barrier between your blood and your brain will get destroyed, and we see things like brain fog and depression, and anxiety, and all kinds of neurological symptoms that will occur too. I'm going to be holding a workshop on Wednesday, December 30th, discussing this and many, many other things that cause autoimmune disease that we address through functional medicine that your doctor doesn't. And if you want more information, you can go to autoimmunityrecovery.com. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope to see you on the 30th. Have a great day.